Welcome to another fascinating journey into the world of Greek mythology. Today, we'll delve into one of the most intriguing and enigmatic tales from ancient Greece, the story of Pandora and Pandora's box. Our story begins with Prometheus, a titan known for his cunning and love for humanity. Prometheus saw the plight of mortals living in darkness. To uplift humanity, he defied the ruler of the gods, Zeus, by stealing the sacred fire from Mount Olympus. Prometheus risked everything, stealing the fire's glow from the heavens and gifting it to humanity. With fire, humankind learned to cook, to forge metals and to ward off the darkness. They began to build cities, to create art, and to understand the world around them. But Zeus, the king of the gods, was furious at Prometheus for sharing this divine gift with mere mortals. Zeus, in his wrath, devised a cruel punishment for Prometheus. He had Prometheus bound to a rock on Mount Caucasus, where an eagle, the symbol of Zeus, would visit daily to devour the titan's liver. Each day, Prometheus suffered excruciating pain as the eagle feasted upon him, and each night, his liver would regenerate, subjecting him to eternal torment. But Prometheus's torment was not the end of this divine retribution. Zeus had further plans to avenge this theft of fire and to punish humankind for their role in it. To retaliate against humanity, he devised a plan that would have far-reaching consequences, the creation of Pandora. Zeus ordered the divine craftsman Hephaestus to mould a woman from clay, bestowing her with unparalleled beauty and charm. Each god and goddess contributed a unique gift to Pandora, making her perfect embodiment of their divine qualities. She was a sight to hold. Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty gifted Pandora with grace and loveliness. This divine quality made Pandora exceptionally beautiful and it was one of her most captivating features. Hermes, the messenger god bestowed upon Pandora the gift of persuasion, often referred to as persuasive speech. This gift granted her the power of charming and convincing speech, making her words enticing and compelling. Athena, the goddess of wisdom and crafts gave Pandora skill and craftsmanship, including knowledge of the domestic arts. This gift made her an accomplished weaver and artisan. Apollo, the god of music and the arts, provided Pandora with musical talent. She could play various musical instruments and had a beautiful singing voice, further enhancing her charm. But as they say, beauty can be deceptive. Pandora was also gifted with a curious nature, a quality that would later bring about her own undoing and the suffering of humanity. Zeus gave Pandora a magnificent box, more accurately referred to as a jar in the original myth. But it's often called Pandora's box in modern interpretations. He instructed her never to open it, but curiosity gnawed at her, leaving her unable to resist the temptation. Pandora, who possessed beauty, charm, and an insatiable curiosity, was married to Epimetheus, the brother of Prometheus. Epimetheus was not as wise as his brother and had been warned by Prometheus never to accept any gifts from the gods. However, the allure of Pandora's beauty and the enchantment of her gifts proved too tempting, and Epimetheus welcomed her into his life. In their household, the mysterious box was a constant source of fascination for Pandora. It sat there seemingly innocent but also undeniably intriguing. Despite the warnings of her husband and the consequences that could follow, Pandora's curiosity gnawed at her, like an itch that could not be ignored. One day, unable to resist any longer, Pandora's curiosity overcame her. She cautiously lifted the lid of the ornate box, not knowing what lay within. In that fateful moment, a sinister force was unleashed. From the jar emerged a cacophony of wailing and haunting apparitions, including diseases, plague, sorrows and miseries. These malevolent entities spilled out into the world, bringing with them suffering and anguish. 
Pandora, witnessing the horrors she had released, swiftly closed the jar, but it was too late. The sorrows had already been set free, and they spread throughout the land, afflicting humanity. Amid the chaos and despair, Pandora noticed that one thing remained trapped within the jar, clinging to the lid. It was a small and fragile entity, hope. Even in the face of suffering and misfortune, hope endured, a beacon of light in the darkest of times. It whispered to Pandora that, despite the sorrows now unleashed upon the world, there was still a glimmer of optimism to guide humanity. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to get more content like this.